Hello, it's day three of our reflections on Psalm 23, and today we come to this lovely, rich phrase, how the Lord, our shepherd, makes me lie down in green pastures, verse 2. Now, what do we make of that? Surely it's a picture of rest, isn't it? Rest in the most lovely, verdant field, surrounded by the best of food for God's sheep. You can't help think back to the Garden of Eden where fruit was on the trees. You can't help look forward to the new creation to come. You can't help but think of how our souls are restored through an enjoyment of nature. But what does this mean to us in lockdown? What does this mean to the Christian who might be in prison because of their faith? Well, I think the Lord Jesus helps us. Matthew 11, 28 to 29, those famous words, come to me. All you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. It's the language of Psalm 23. He goes on, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The picture is of a a yoke shared between two oxen, that bit of wood that goes across their backs, and it means that together they carry the burden. And here the sense is that we are walking through life in the presence of, alongside the Lord Jesus himself, our Good Shepherd. And that he bears the bulk of the burden so that the burdens of life are are light to us, so that we can find rest for our souls. Now I think there's two senses of that. First is rest from labouring with sin. Jesus has borne its burden, hasn't he? He's paid its penalty in his death on the cross, so we're free from any sense uh, of that. Uh, And more than that, he's gifted us his righteousness, so we're fully accepted. And by doing so, we're now filled with the Spirit so that we can start to live his way. So we're no longer burdened by guilt. We're no longer burdened by terror of Judgment Day. We're no longer burdened by an inability to change. So we can now seek to please the Lord, but not with the sort of nasal gazing, dissecting of everything and worry over whether it might not be exactly right. Our sense of of fear that might lead to that, that's past. We have rest from labouring with sin, but we also have rest from labouring in service too. Jesus ultimately bears its weight as well, doesn't he? Ultimately, how we fare in our responsibilities within the family or the workplace or church are down to Jesus more than they're down to us. Unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labour in vain. So we don't need to fear ever taking a break. Uh, We don't need to think that everything depends on us, that every moment must be filled with activism. No, we can act in seeking to to please the Lord, yes, but not with anxiety that if we don't get it exactly right, everything uh, will fall apart. Jesus has borne our burdens. But, But note how we experience this. How do we find this rest for our souls of lying down in green pastures? Well, Jesus said, come to me, all who are weary and burdened. And the psalm tells us, doesn't it, that it's the Lord our shepherd that makes us lie down in green pastures. Yesterday we emphasised prayer, today slightly more broadly, let's emphasise communion with God. We need to be relating to him, walking beside him through life, through our days, talking with him, enjoying him. Uh, uh, Do you think you can cope getting through lockdown, getting through today, without this sort of communion with Christ? You see, you weren't intended to. And so if you're finding each day burdensome, my question to you is, are you spending time with the Lord Jesus? You know, if you haven't done today, you need to go and find some time. Put yourself in the bedroom. Tell the children, if you need to watch TV for 10 minutes, just so I can have this time. That is, that's a good thing. Lock yourself in the toilet if you need to. Commune with Christ, your good shepherd. And I can tell you that if you're sincere in that, if you open your heart to him and really express to him your struggles and ask for his help, you will experience something like this lying down in green pastures. You will experience uh, him giving rest to your soul. Well, so it is that as we end, those three Ps. Pause now before you do anything else. Praise the Lord Jesus, for all that he 
is ready to give us in this life of himself as well as the next and then pray pray that you'd put this into practice and then make sure that at the beginning of tomorrow and throughout tomorrow just as today you you learn to commune with him opening yourself to him coming to him and experiencing something of those green pastures <laughs>